Okay, so let's start from the words in blue. Ciao, piacere, and piacere mio. So, you guessed it, we're going to talk about greetings. Ciao means hi, as well as bye. But it's the informal way of greeting somebody. You wouldn't say ciao to just anybody. In English, you would say, yes, Austria is bella. Is bella. Austria is bella. <laughs> yes, Austria is nice, but I like Italy. You put emphasis on I. So how do you make that emphasis? You can make it, but you have to remember that you don't say I like Italy. You're saying Italy is pleasing to me. Either rewind the video or just get my PDF on the pronouns, which is uh, the most comprehensive chart on pronouns I could think of making. So it's really worth getting. He cannot say Non mi piacciono quelle nere, just out of the blue. It sounds like he's stating, I don't like black olives. And it's like, who asked you? So, me and a man mean the same. Grammatically, they all mean to me. We don't say I'm brushing my teeth. When is the last time you brushed somebody else's teeth? Now, as an exercise, how would you say that with the strong pronoun? What is a strong pronoun for you? It's te. Aspetto te qui. When would you say that, though? Ti aspetto qui. To recap what we said about personal pronouns, and I'll be talking about personal pronouns all throughout because it's really mm, crucial. Preposition, personal pronouns, and uh, when to use the article, it's uh, the core of what's difficult to learn in Italian for an English speaker. We're encountering chi in two instances in the same sentence. Um, it looks like a simple dialogue, but there's been a lot of thought <laughs> that I put in these sentences so that we see things in, in, in a productive way. Okay, reflexive means that the subject and the object are the same. One thing is to say I cut the cheese. <laughs> not, not the cheese. One, <laughs> one thing is to say I cut the bread. And one thing is to say I cut myself. However, ci siamo andati insieme, it doesn't mean we went ourselves together it means we went there what chi when it doesn't mean us or to us it means in it on it at it to it and with it that's a good thing to be acquainted with in italian when you're running out of something when you're out of something you say it's finished so the strawberry is finished <laughs> it means uh, we are out of strawberry it's not cioccolato it's cioccolato not that strong. You don't have to have a stroke, but i bei gli belli. You can see all about this in the PDF and corresponding video lesson about adjectives. Li, la. You can see that two lines below, I put the other one. Li and la are absolutely interchangeable. We don't even know which one we say when we speak. It's just personal preference of what sounds better at any given moment. Once in the States, I asked a person, do you say either or either? And she was mopping the floor and she said, either, I mean either, because that's what it is. Quasi quasi prendo qualcosa da mangiare. I love, uh, these red words are my favorite. Quasi quasi means almost, al <laughs> almost, almost, I'm taking something to eat. It means that you're pondering, you're thinking about something that you're pretty much just about to decide. Merenda, um, it's like a 4 p.m. snack, right? Considering that you have breakfast at 7, 8, lunch at 12, 1, and we have dinner at 7, 8, right? We don't have dinner at 5 or 6, so by 4, you're kind of um, uh, getting the munchies. So kids, typically, who have a, a small stomach and they don't eat much, by 4 o'clock, they want to eat. So that's what merenda is. It's like a 4 o'clock, 5 snack. Non penso, non credo means I don't think so. We just say I don't think. First of all, notice how cucina means kitchen range, like a stove. It means the kitchen, and it means cuisine, same word. And then you say Italian is difficult. Io invece sono intollerante ai natticini. Okay, so invece is a very Italian way of speaking. Invece means instead. Uh, here it means on the other hand. It's totally unnecessary in English. But uh, when we want to make a contrast, like, oh, she's allergic to penis, well, I am intolerant to dairy. Uh, I don't know. It's, we use that a lot. Invece, invece, invece. Non vedo l'ora. Oh, I love the red expressions because, uh, you know, we get really into the authentic Italian that we all speak. Non vedo l'ora means I don't see the hour. What? <laughs> it means I can't wait. So it's a very handy expression. I look forward to. Non vedo l'ora di andare al mare. I can't wait to go to the beach. Infradito means between the fingers and uh, it means flip-flop. 
You're like, what are you, a gorilla? No, we don't have a word for toes. So infradito means between the fingers of the feet, the fingers of the feet. I gave you all the grammar that I wanted you to assimilate, all the expressions that I wanted you to learn when you travel and visit Italy. I hope you could take advantage of it. And of course, remember, I have separate PDFs with a video lesson on each one on all these aspects of grammar. So you're welcome to buy them all or some of them, whatever you want. If you've purchased this video course, you have 70% discount on them.